Anthurium, the flamingo flower. The flowers of the Anthurium plant are known as painted tongue, flamingo flower, flamingo lily, or tail flower are widely demanded in the market for their brightly colored flower spades and their ornamental leaves that add elegant look to the rooms. Anthuriums make wonderful gifts this time of year whether you choose a fresh bouquet or a flowering potted plant. Either way, the waxy, heart-shaped flowers will keep their good looks for a long time. Anthuriums are common throughout South and Middle America belonging to the family Araceae. Within the family Araceae, Anthurium is the largest genus which comprises of some 900 varieties including well-known cultivated varieties Anthurium andrianum and Anthurium shishanurum. Anthurium is one of the most popular of the tropical cut flowers which are being grown commercially for export as well as for the local market. In Sri Lanka, annual production of anthuriums is around 3 million flowers, the majority of which are sold at the local market. The exports of anthuriums at present are not very significant. A land area of approximately 10 hectares is under anthurium cultivation at present and the industry is expanding steadily at village level. Almost all plantations are either under polytunnels or structures with shade netting. However, locally available materials are also used under certain conditions to provide required shade levels. The National Botanical Gardens Peradenia, being the pioneer institution for the development of cut flower industry in Sri Lanka, has produced a few promising anthurium varieties with export potential. Some of the varieties of anthurium andrianum available at National Botanical Gardens are Anthurium andrianum tropical, Anthurium andrianum casino, Anthurium andrianum angel, Anthurium andrianum resido, Anthurium andrianum midori, Anthurium andrianum terre. Although the name applied to these cut flower plants is usually Anthurium andrianum, many in fact are hybrids of several closely related species. Anthurium flowers are small and develop crowded in a spike on a fleshy axis called spadix, a characteristic of the Araceae. The spadix is part of an inflorescence, the outer portion of which is known as the spade. The spade may be a single color or possibly multicolored. The flowers are hermaphrodite, containing male and female flowers. Pollen matures week to 10 days after stigma becomes receptive to prevent self-pollination. Anthuriums are propagated vegetatively by stem cuttings, axillary shoots or suckers and sexually by seeds. Propagation via seeds can be done when anthuriums are cultivated as a hobby but not suitable for commercial cultivations. On the other hand, Vegetative propagation gives rise to plants that are similar to the parent and it is the best method for clonal propagation. Propagation by tissue culture methods. With the advent of tissue cultured anthuriums, large numbers of anthurium clones became available for a reasonable price. Tissue culture laboratories do the extensive work necessary to produce a variety of different stage anthurium explants. The basic approach to tissue culture propagation is that the laboratory takes a desirable cultivar, harvests tissue, and under rigorous aseptic conditions and controls, produces massive numbers of clones which are disease free. Anthuriums thrive from sea level up to about 4,000 feet elevation under mild and warm temperatures in the wet zone of Sri Lanka. However, 
higher temperatures and higher relative humidity are favorable for growth and consequently more flowers are produced under such environmental conditions. Anthurium is a tropical plant. It can be grown in a range of temperatures from 14 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. The optimum day temperature is 22 to 25 degrees Celsius and a night temperature is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. The optimum light intensity is about 20,000 lux. Anthuriums do not produce good quality flowers when grown in the open. Shade must be provided for vigorous growth and flower production. For optimum performance, shade levels ranging from 70 to 75 percent are recommended. Such shade levels can be provided by growing the plants mostly in the shade net houses. Shade houses made out of nets are the most common among anthurium growers at present. It is possible to provide the correct shade levels with these nets. Anthurium can also be grown under the natural shade of trees. However, this method is not recommended for commercial cultivation. Different growing systems and substrates are used in anthurium cultivation. The most common system among large-scale growers at present is the use of cultivation beds. In general, the bed has a width of 1.2 to 1.4 meters. The bed is located on a small slope of about 0.03%, that is 3 centimeters per 100 meters. A cultivation bed consists of plastic foil of 0.1 millimeter thickness with a drainage tube for removing excess water located at the lowest point. The side of the bed can consist of a strong polystyrene sheet. Watering to the cultivated beds is provided by internal drip lines per bed. This is the most preferred method for bed culture. A drip line is installed along the plant row and there will be two lines per bed with two plant rows. Drippers of each line are placed at the base of a single plant and each plant is supplied with a dripper which would wet only the base of the particular plant. A recommended liquid fertilizer can be supplied with the irrigation water. The other advantage of drip irrigation over the sprinkler system is that it does not wet the leaves, minimizing the spread of disease. The coconut chips or a mixture of compost and coconut chips are also used locally to cultivate anthurium. As in the other flowers, the proper post-harvest handling practices would determine the quality of the anthurium's flowers too. Therefore, floriculturists should concern about the post-harvest handling chain that involves series of events like harvesting, sorting, packing systems, transportation and wholesale and retail marketing. The most important factors that need to concern during harvesting of anthurium flowers are what to harvest, the stage of maturity, when to harvest, time of the day, how to harvest, manual and mechanical, harvesting. Anthurium flowers should be harvested when they are fully mature. A flower is ready for harvesting about 10 to 12 days after the flower bud has completely unfurled. The female flower parts of the spadix are the first to mature in anthurium. Your anthurium flowers will have a long life when properly handled. The end of their vast life is usually the result of inability to draw up water and is associated with loss of glossiness and then bluing of the speed. Depending on the variety and season and the amount of care they are given, 
they can retain their straight from the tropics freshness for up to 45 days. Although there are no formal grade standards for anthuriums, top quality implies long stems, uniformity of color and size, proper maturity, glossiness of the spade, and freedom from any damage or disease. Since the flowers should be protected from damages and bruises until they reach their destination, packaging is very important in exporting of anthurium. Anthurium and lacery medi, I will have to know a centimeter tihat digger, centimeter pahalo palala, centimeter atapusa, cardboard petia. May we get a atravate, we will put on a pull one. Cardboard petty at the cardboard जलबाजनेिल्ला <laughs> मलसरी a polythene necker, Jalia Vashpila Yama, him at the polythene, Jalia Vatalanic Valakana, maybe the fellow painting Otala, eat a passe, rubber band hitting him at tongue, no lucky maybe the get a hand. Put the maybe the rain at two agar, this sin. Eat a passe, a pi, colopo, arakshaka gandone, eat a passe grandone, colopoter, colopi, viscum, vague, the gunak tina, tissue paper, a caragan. A tissue paper, a lagana, mother, may with her, Sidura Kadagana, the maid, Chada Sukia, Iliata Ganda Pulang in a theatre. There may with her tissue paper, a lagana, Ilangata Karane, may tissue paper again, may Chada Sukia, Iliata Ganda, Aragana, Ilangata, may with her Malay Polapu, Sampur name, our name for unknown. The men may with Rai, Malay Polapu, Piarakshagarane, it was a Polapu, a permanent Saman is come with the Polythene Karagan, a polythene Karagana, maybe theatre Polythene Nigger, the Gillandona, again, some poor name, our Nigger of Mala Polythene Gillandon, Gilla, it was a Gala in order, maybe the Rapi, a separate cut working him at them, Alpenit Tag Galavala, maybe the Magana to the Mithering, Polythene Kivatela and Nedna, some poor name, Mala Rakshavala Dene. Polapur tissue paper in Arakshavala, then it was Chadusuki, Mavaki Polytinaking, Arakshavana, May Pili Valtaiapi, Mal Asuranda Kalin, Sakaskar Ganda. It is the May with the Sakaskar Gatta Mal, it was a petty Asurandona, the petty at the Mulima Sakaskar Gatta, Sakaskar Gatta Petty, Mal Tianone, May with the Tai, Saman in Polapi Visala Tianu Visala Mal Yatta Datan. Visala Adumal, he can call up a Kuda Mal, Matupila Tenevidere Petti, Asura Nona, Asura Nagota, Mavidre, Asura Ilangata, Maltian Nona, Mavidre, the Petter, some Petter Tiane, Colopo, Capata, take a set take a piano, and it set take a Colopo, and it Petter Tiane, or Colopi, Talima, Valakina, the Mavidre, the Petra. Colopu de Capatri, the Tilsa, Tianavida, Petti Asurane, Asula, eat a passe, 
मेक द उडिंग मैं आप हो कटदास को लिया केलान नो कटदास को लिया कि मैं तन टिश्यू पेपर वाली कपड़ा का तर रैली वाली कोटा सैंपल रे में मेक मल्टी का वहन विधि रे मातू पीटी में विधि रे केलान नो ना इल्ला तमाई ईलंगर ताटू आप हो सका मैं सेक्सी में कराने ये विधि रे अभी ताटू मेके हतरा को पहाक असुरान्ने पु असुर ला अवसान है वेला इड पसे उड़िंग आप हो में वागे पहेदी कोले आप के मतलब कर्जाश कोले के मतलब डिवाइन पेपर का वाहला सांपूरे में हाथर वाटे इटे मतिये ना कोले ऐतरोज नावला इड पसे पेटिये सांपूरे में वाहला इड पसे सांपूरे में ब्राउन पेपर आप कर गए ब्राउन पेपर के पेटिये सांपूरे में उतान नोला उतला उड़िंग लिया � यावन हटे नमत लबागन हटे नमत वाला कहे हाथरी सटा के तो तो आप ही मैं लबागन डॉन सटा रहे यावन डे इन द लोकल मार्केट एंथोरियम्स आर समटाइम्स मार्केटेड विदाउट रैपिंग ऑफ इंडिविजुअल फ्लावर्स एंड सम एंथोरियम्स आर पैक्ड इन बंडल्स ऑफ सेलोफेंट एंथोरियम्स कैन इजीली स्टोर्ड एट थर्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर ट� two to four weeks. Exposure to flower below 30 degrees Celsius causes the red flowers to turn blue. Now you may understand that the factors affecting pre and post harvesting quality of anthurium flowers. The pre harvest factors include maintaining proper greenhouse condition such as temperature, humidity, light and providing maximum conditions to grow the plants in cultivation beds. Maintaining the freshness of the cut flowers requires an understanding of the post-harvest handling of anthuriums, that is, proper harvesting techniques, packaging, storage, transportation, retail and wholesale marketing.